How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a delicious and simple bean recipe. You can make this in a pressure cooker. I use the Instapot and it's whole food plant-based. It has no oil, it's healthy, and it tastes great. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. And just want to mention real quick before I show you the recipe that I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you'd like some extra help, go ahead and send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram and the links are in the description box below the video. And I'm also going to have the recipe in the description box as well. So this is a really good recipe. I had it recently, a relative gave me the recipe and I tried it out and I liked it so I thought I'd make a video about it. You can eat this just the way it's made or you can add it to something like potatoes or tacos or burritos, however you like it. So. Here's the recipe. All right, so to make this bean recipe, you're gonna to have to have a pressure cooker. I use the Instapot. One pound of beans dried, uh, any kind work, it doesn't matter. Four cups of vegetable broth. You're gonna need a half of an onion, a teaspoon of oregano, a tablespoon of ground cumin, spices. And I did not use the garlic. I actually like it more without the garlic. So that's all you need. Go ahead and soak the dried beans overnight. Uh, use about, I don't know, five or six cups of water for the pound of dried beans. Soak those overnight, and then when you're ready to make the recipe, you just drain them, and then you put them in the pressure cooker. So they're all ready to go, and from there, you're just gonna add the ingredients. So put in the four cups of vegetable broth, so this is a simple recipe and you can eat this plain or you can add it to different things. I'll show you what I put it on after the video, after the recipe. All right, and then I added the spices and just quartered the half of onion and I threw that in there. <clears throat> now I'm actually gonna, and you wanna stir that all up. Now I'm actually gonna take out the onion when it's done. I just cook it with onion, but I don't eat it. And then you put it on high pressure for 15 minutes. And let that go. And then you let it self-release for 20 minutes. And then you let the rest of the steam out. And then there you go. You stir it up. You're ready to go. And what I did is I put this on some tacos with some rice and some avocados, salsa, tomatoes, onions, things like that. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.